Explaining how the clutch works is a little bit like explaining how the offside rule in football works. It is a simple rule, but it can get complex. The clutch is the connection between the engine and the gearbox. When you press the clutch down, the clutch plates separate. Having the clutch down allows you to do lots of things. It's a good idea to press the clutch before you start the engine. On the right, you have the engine plate. This is spinning constantly, and on the left, the gearbox plate. When you press the accelerator with your right foot, this makes the engine spin faster. But because the clutch is down, the engine and the gearbox are not connected. The first time we're gonna talk about using the clutch is to select a gear. You have to press the clutch pedal down, because if you don't press it down, what will happen is the gearbox will grind. The cogs will hit each other, making a horrible noise. To select first gear and move off, press the clutch down, select first gear. Then set the gas. That's increase the accelerator very slightly so the engine sounds a bit more lively. Gently bring the clutch up till you find the biting point. You will know you have the biting point because the bonnet will raise a little bit and the engine noise will become a little bit deeper. When you release the handbrake, the car will start to move. Keep the accelerator and clutch still for about two car lengths. Then gently increase the gas and very gently bring the clutch up. The next time we need to use the clutch is to keep the car moving at very slow speeds, i.e. less than five miles per hour. To do this, you need to go up and down with the clutch in tiny actions. It's really important to remember, if you release the handbrake and keep your feet still, the car will accelerate. To keep the car at slow speeds, clutch down a millimeter to slow and up a millimeter to go. And keep repeating that to keep the car at say, 0.5 miles per hour. That's clutch control. The next time we will need to use the clutch is when we change gear. If we change gear without using the clutch, you'll hear that horrible noise because the cogs are hitting each other. So come off the gas, press the clutch down, then change gear, gently clutch up, back on the gas and accelerate away. The next time you need to use the clutch is to prevent stalling when you brake to stop. Here's Leo the dog. So, if we just brake, the car will judder, and it will shake, and then it will stall. And that is because the brakes have stopped the wheels, the gearbox, the clutch, and finally, the engine. So if you want to stop without stalling, always brake before the clutch. This shows your brake lights, but it also gives you engine braking, because when you come off the gas, the car's in gear, it slows down. So brake, then clutch down, and that is the best way to stop a car. If you've just stopped in a park position, always apply the handbrake, but press the button in, don't let it click. Put it into neutral, and then you can come off the brake and the clutch. And if you're staying there for a while, turn the engine off. So that's it. Those are the four times you need to use the clutch. The four times are to move off from a parked position, to control the car at slow speeds, to change up and down the gears, and to prevent stalling just before stopping. Without further ado, I need to give a massive shout out to my mate, Anthony Atkinson, illustrator from Big A Band, with his faithful dog, Leo, for helping to explain the clutch.